Hey everybody. I'll wait to see if I can get some people to hop in here before I get started. While Facebook builds an audience for me and I just realized I need to get my eyebrows waxed. This is bad. <clears throat> All right, so I was gonna wait a little bit later to do this video, and um, then I realized I'm gonna lose light really quickly. So uh, I'm gonna do it now. I got some new products. I was gone this past weekend um, to Washington, D.C., and I got a package that came in while I was gone, and I was so excited, and then I got back, and I brought a little bit of a cough thing back with me, I guess because it was colder up there. So I'm finally a little bit better, better enough than I was yesterday so that I can show you guys what I got. So just because I show you guys our makeup doesn't mean I have everything. So I'm really excited about the new things that I got. So the things that I'm gonna show you today, this is our rose water. Um, rose water acts as a toner. Hi, Peppa. Um, acts as a toner. It helps with acne. Um, it helps with pigmentation on your skin. It moisturizes, it does a lot of different things for you. So we're gonna, we're gonna use that today. Also, um, our face primer, our glorious face primer. I haven't had that yet. So whenever you've seen me do my makeup, that's without any primer on my face. So we're gonna use that. And right now, of course, I'm bare face. Um, and then I got our BB cream. So I have not tried our BB cream yet. So I'm excited about, I'm excited about trying that. I tried it a little bit on my hand. I may have got a, a slight bit too light of a shade. So we're gonna test it out um, all over my face to just see because I did just do it like a little hand swatch. Um, I got the color cream, so we'll see. I think it may be a little too light. So what we're gonna start off first is with the rose water. So all you're gonna do, and I haven't even tried this yet, so let's just give it a shot. So just spray it on your face and let it, oh man, that feels good. It smells good too. Maybe I put too much. Oh man, that smells really nice. Hmm. I wish you could. I wish you could smell through the through the face, the Facebook Live. It feels really nice. So again, you got to let that dry because it is just a spray. It's a liquid, and it does smell like roses. I kind of want to spray it all over my house. It feels really nice. And if I'm sniffling you guys too much, just again, I got a little got a little sniffle from um, Washington, D.C., that wind. Whew. All right, it's drying now. Hey, Manal. Okay, so you want to wait till it's not so sticky, which it's not. It's getting there. All right. So now what we'll do is we will put on our primer. And again, this is our glorious primer. So what this is gonna do is fill up any pores, like, you see these pores here? In here, it's gonna fill those up. Oh, I have to cut it. Uh-oh, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. I didn't know you had to cut it. So, hey, FYI, if you get the if you get the glorious primer, you've got to cut this off, the little tip of it off. So I don't think it takes much. I'm just gonna take about that much. This is experimental for me too. I've tried a lot of different primers. Haven't had a lot of success with them, so I've heard a lot of good things about our primer. Oh, that feels nice. So it's not heavy. If you've tried primers before, they can be kind of heavy on your face. This isn't. Oh my goodness, this smells good too. Okay, so that's the primer. So you're gonna see a difference once I put the actual makeup on. So with our BB cream, let me show you what you've seen me use before. So of course we have our um, Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. That's what you've seen me use probably the most. 
Um, that's where you drop it on the um, little brush. Um, it's the best coverage that we have is if you want full coverage. This is, this is your option here and it turns into a powder finish. Secondly, what I use a lot um, when I'm in a hurry is our cream foundation that comes in this compact. Again, I've used it a lot. Um, I have organza in that and organza in my liquid. And then today I'm gonna try our BB cream, which I got in cream and I think it may be a little light for me. We're gonna give it a shot. So I think the best way to probably apply this is to use, I'm sorry you guys, I have the sniffles, um, to use our liquid foundation um, brush, sorry. Use our liquid foundation brush just to kind of spread it around and then I'm gonna use um, a beauty blender to blend it out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. I'm anxious to see how much it takes. I put a lot just to see, but let's just see. And again, I think I got, okay, that was probably way too much. I think I got a too light of a color. But a good thing is if anybody's worried, and I just found this out, um, because I was asking for somebody who was going to purchase. Um, if you're worried about getting the wrong color, because I can understand that. I was worried about it too. Because I'm like, how am I supposed to know if I'm getting the right color? What if I get the wrong color? The good thing is, if you get the wrong color, you can exchange it. No cost. So that's pretty awesome. So again, this is our BB cream. I just kind of put it all over my face. And then I'm going to wet my beauty blender with the rose water. So that's another benefit of the rose water. So you don't have to wet it with um, water, you can actually wet it with the rose water. So I'm just gonna blend it. Now I have extremely dry skin. Yeah, so this is a little bit too light for me. Not too light, but just a little bit. But I have extremely light or um, dry skin. So my skin reacts best actually to our liquid foundation. But this is actually kind of nice too. It's smoothing out nicely. And again, this is our BB cream in the color cream. It's actually not too light. I don't, I mean, if you don't use bronzers and stuff, it may be a little too light, but I don't think it's that bad. It actually covers really nicely. I'm kind of digging it. So this is our BB cream. So again, this is our, our lightest coverage other than just our, our pressed powder. Looks good. I like it. So again, I used our rose water um, that tones, helps with acne, moisturizes. I used our Glorious Primer and then I used our BB Flawless cream and now I think I'm going to do just a little bit of our concealer and again I use it in scarlet not too much just a little bit and I'm going to take that same damp um, beauty blender that I just used and again I just sprayed it with the rose water And remember with your um, concealer, don't just cover, don't just do right here because that's just highlighting what you actually want to cover. You want to brighten your eyes. You want the light to kind of brighten there. And we're going to blend everything. So again, this is just a light coverage today. I'm not going to do the setting and everything. I'm just going to use our regular um, just our pressed powder because this is just quick today before I lose the light because it's quickly going away. I'm going to actually, because I don't use it very often, well, no, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what palette to use that I don't use often. I never use blue on my eyes. I guess I could give it a shot. I'll try. I'll try palette four, which are these colors. And I'm gonna start out with, let's see. 
some gold. So this, and again, you guys, I am no makeup artist. I am trying to do this in a hurry, which is the good thing about our makeup. So again, I use our rose water, our primer, and our BB cream. And now I'm using palette four, just to do a quick eye. I'm not doing anything special right now before I lose the light. And if you wanna see the coverage, I really like it. Again, this is my first time using it. I'm, I like it. I like it for like if you just um, want just light coverage. Especially like during the summer and stuff, I think it would be really nice. Or if you have, I was thinking about this um, recently because I remember as a little girl, like when you first start to wear makeup, now girls are wearing makeup a lot earlier than, than I did. Um, but if you have a daughter or, or no, like if you have like a niece or anybody who's getting ready to start wearing makeup, this would be the, the best Christmas gift because it's so natural. It doesn't have any of those awful chemicals in it and it's just easy to apply. It's an easy start to makeup. It's not difficult. And I think it would be an awesome, awesome um, Christmas gift. That's a lot. Again, you guys, it's the first time I'm actually trying this. Hey, Jessica. Sorry, I had to hop off your video because I was trying to get to make sure I didn't lose the light here. So again, this is palette four, and this is my first time using um, like a navy on my eye. I normally stick with like golds, silvers, pinks but I'm kind of digging it. I'm just gonna go into the crease. Again, we're not doing anything fancy. Cause I'm gonna lose the light. Just real quick. Let's do a little bit more of that silk, that gold, cause I like it. So again, yeah, if you've got, got anybody who's starting to use makeup, this is a great option. Yes, I'll show it again at the end, Gina, because it's a good setter for your makeup. So I will show it when I'm when I'm finished here in just a second. But this is what it looks like. I will show it just a second. And it feels so nice. I'm just gonna go in with a lighter color just to kind of blend everything up here. I'm not gonna do any mascara or anything. Cause the main point of this was to show the BB cream, our rose water and our primer, which I haven't tried yet. I don't even know if those are even, you guys. It's so difficult on the phone. All right. And ignore my eyebrows that need to be waxed. And the sad thing is, you guys, I wax my own at home. There's no excuse for me. No excuse for them to look like this. All right, I'm gonna use just one of our bronzers. I'm gonna use Malibu. Just really quickly, just to, don't worry, we'll blend, as I always say. Just a quick under the chin. Up, always upward motion, upward, round. Here, we'll do a little blush. We'll use a little sophisticated. Doesn't take much, you guys, at all. A little sophisticated. Okay. And again, you guys, with this BB cream, my skin is very, very dry. So it may look a little drier than my skin normally does with our other products. And when I say dry, I mean I have to moisturize at minimum two times a day on my face. So this is just our pressed powder in Organza. I told you guys I wasn't going to make it complicated today. So see how easily that blends? Blends everything out. 
gives you a really good matte finish. And then I shall, let's see, I know I've got, yeah, my eyebrow gel real quick. This is like my quick makeup and just with the BB cream. I'm still getting used to it. Is everybody still getting used to this? Um, one minute, please. Somebody's not gonna mind. There's that. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm probably gonna have to come back and do a second one. Just one second. 